Hi, welcome. So today we are starting day one of our gentle series of exercises. So these classes are suitable for anyone that's just new to exercise, if you're just getting back to exercise after an injury, if you have mobility issues, if you use a walker, this would work for you. So all I ask is when you get tired, take a break by sitting in the chair and you can continue the exercises from the chair. Otherwise, if you're able to stand throughout the whole class, you can definitely do the classes, uh, do all of the exercises standing. And, uh, and I think that's about it. So your chair, your weights, a smile, and let's get started. Okay, so for those who use a walker, just have the walker in front of you. If you need the support of the chair, you can have the chair close by. And if you don't need the walker or the chair, then you're just gonna do the exercises without either. Okay, do have a chair handy for some of, a few of the exercises later where we will need it. Um, obviously nothing with wheels on the bottom of the chair, something safe and something sturdy, and uh, that's about it. All right, so let's just start with some gentle exercises just to get the body uh, moving a little bit and to loosen up the body. So let's just take our arms up and bring them back down. So feet shoulder width apart, breathing in and breathing out. And one more and breathing out. Let's just shake the hands out, rotate those wrists, other direction. All right, let's bring one arm up, one arm down, just bring those arms up and down. And just one more, good. Okay, let's just start with a gentle march. So for those with the walker, you're holding onto the walker. For anyone else that needs to, hold on to the chair. And otherwise, you're just gonna walk. So just going gently, go at your own pace. You don't need to go at the same pace that I'm going, so please do what works best for you. Okay, so we're just kicking a foot forward. So if this class is too easy for you, I have a, I'll be having a beginner series two for standing. So this, is, this one in particular though is designed for people that want something very gentle. Okay, let's just tap the toes forward. And if you can, tap the heels forward. So this is challenging our balance a little bit, so take your time. And going back into a march. Now let's bring the arms into it a little bit. All right, and let's just press the arms forward as we're walking. Okay, we're gonna switch that up. So we're just gonna bring one foot back. And if you can, bring your arms into it. So you're just gonna press those hands back. So press back. Now, if you're using the walker, just do the leg part. You're not using your arms at all when you're using the walker. And if you have been recommended to use a walker, definitely just use the legs. Um, a lot of times people feel that they can do more, but just listen to your um, physiotherapist and, uh, and do what is safe for you. As you get stronger, you'll be able to do a lot more. So just for now, be safe. Okay, let's just do one more and back into a march. All right, let's bring our arms, uh, for those aren't, who aren't using the walker, bring your arms down and let's just bring them up for a bicep curl. So we're just doing about five minutes of walking and then we're gonna do some other exercises. We're also gonna be doing some abdominal exercises, some lower back exercises and uh, a balance exercise and then some stretching. Okay, bringing one arm back, one arm forward and just bringing the arms back and forth. Now, if you're holding onto the chair with one hand, you just do the opposite arm. And at any time, if you are feeling tired, just sit down in the chair and continue the exercises seated. You could do the same thing sit sitting in a chair. 
Okay, let's bring the arms to the side and we're just going to tap to the side and bring the arm out. So working our shoulders here, working our balance as well. Let's do one more on each side. Good, now we're gonna go forward. So if you're using the walker, you can still do the legs. The next one we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our foot back. Okay, so stepping back, bringing that arm forward. Concentrating on grounding your feet into the floor, making sure you've got good balance here. And we're gonna continue a march, bringing those arms into it, pumping those arms. Okay, we're gonna have our feet uh, just side to side here. If you're holding the walker, you're still, you're still continuing with that. Otherwise, you're just bringing the feet back and forth. And if you are able to use your arms, just bring your arms into it here. So I'm glad you are here today, um, starting exercise or continuing exercise, whichever that you're doing. Okay, back to a march. Let's just kick the, those feet forward again. So just gently kicking those feet forward. All right. So we're done the walking portion. We are going to do some strength training. So the first one we're gonna do is a, a bent over row. So we're gonna use one arm. I'm doing it with one arm uh, specifically because for those who are using a walker, that way you can still do the exercise. So at this point, if you are using a walker, you might wanna sit down, use your judgment here, okay? Um, you know yourself best, so do what is safe for you. So grabbing onto one weight. Now, if you have a bunch of different weights, um, I would ask for this one because it's for your upper back and our backs are usually pretty strong. Pick a weight that's a little bit heavier but um, again, use your judgment on what works best for you. So I would say anything between a, a three to a five pound weight would probably be best. You could even go a little bit heavier, but again, you have to find uh, what works for you. So even if you try it the first time with, with a lower weight, and then the next time you do it, use a heavier weight, that might be best for you. Okay, so grabbing onto that weight. We're gonna just do a bent over row. So I ask you to use a chair just for support. You don't have to. So if you don't wanna use the chair, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna lean over a tiny bit. It, you flatten your back so it's like your hips are going back. You have one arm down and you're rowing up, okay? Now if you need the support of the chair, hold on to the chair, comfortable position. Hips are back, back is flat. You're rowing up and back down. Now when you row that weight up, you're concentrating on squeezing that upper back. And you're not doing this, okay? Your back is flat, it's just your elbow that is coming up. All right, so let's start together. So we're going up to eight. One, two, squeeze that upper back, four, five, Six. So this should be getting hard by now when you're up to about six, seven, eight. Okay, last one, and that's eight. Excellent. Okay, standing up straight, switching the weight to the other hand, and we're doing the same thing on that side. So weight is down, and you're just lifting it up. I'm gonna turn the chair simply so you can see what I'm doing. So hips are back, back is flat, and you're just rowing up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Excellent. Now, if you're in the chair, you would just be doing exactly the same thing. Okay, so for the next one, we are doing a chest press. Again, you can use a little bit of a heavier weight. So sitting in the chair for this one, or on a 
on a couch if that's all you have. I would say ideally it'd be best if you're in a chair just because it's more supportive. So sitting on the edge of your chair, you're leaning back in the chair. Now we are um, keeping our back flat, okay? My back is flat. I'm not uh, curling, turning my back at, or curling my back at all. So arms are up here and you're just pressing forward. So it's up and forward. Two. Three. Four. Four more. Five. Six and two more. Seven. And eight. Excellent. Okay, I'm gonna turn the chair um, just Get it out of the way. So staying with that heavier weight. Again, you can do this one seated in the chair. So we're doing a bicep curl. So most of you know what a bicep curl is. We're just having the hands down the weights. We're just bringing the weight up and back down. Okay, so everyone ready? And one. So here you want a fairly heavy weight because our biceps are usually quite strong. Two. So always in control, three. Four, five, six, seven, last one, and eight. Slowly coming down, excellent, okay. So the next one, uh, if you have a little bit of a lighter weight, it would be best. Our triceps are not as strong as our biceps. So some options here. If you're seated, I'm gonna show you first. So seated, you you're leaning forward, back is flat, back is flat, hinging at the hips, bring those, the elbows up, and you're kicking back, okay? So that's the chair option. If you're standing, we're just um, bringing the arms back. So I've got my elbows up, and you're just kicking those arms back. Okay, so let's start together, one. So when you've got the arm straight, right at this point, squeeze that back of the arm, the back of the arm. So it's your triceps there, so squeeze. Four, your knees are loose. Five, six, seven, eight. We're going to 10 for this one, nine and 10. Just because the weight's a little bit lighter so we can handle a little bit more. Putting the weights down. We are going to do our sit to stands. Now, if you don't want to use a chair, that is fine. What you're going to do is um, have your feet a bit this far apart, a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Your hands can be in front or you can have them out to the side. And we're just doing, a, you're basically doing a squat. So you're just going down and coming back up. Main thing here, have your feet planted into the floor. Your glutes are really going back, okay? So it's like you're sitting in a chair. Um, so really bring those glutes back because you don't want your knees going really far forward. Last thing you want is to be going like this, okay? So really pressing the glutes back and coming back up. And when you come back up, squeeze those glutes, okay? We're working the glutes here as well. So if you're in the chair, Obviously the safer option, option is with the chair, but you know yourself best, so do what, uh, what works best for you. So standing up, feet are a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Different options, you can hold onto the chair and then come up. Harder option is having your hands here, down and up. So if you want to, you can kind of just hover over the chair and come up again, rather than putting all your weight into the chair. Again, do what works for you. So this is four, five, we're going up to eight, six, even if you can do one or two, just do them, seven, and eight. Excellent. Okay, next one is calf raise. So working on the strength in our calves here, so you're using the chair. Again, you don't have to use a chair. If you want another option, you can just hold on to a wall. If you have really good balance, you could just lift your heels and come back down. Now, if you want a bit of a, a challenge, you can also hold on to weights, lift up and come back down. For everybody else, you can hold on to the chair. All right, so let's start together. We're gonna do 10. So one, two, 
three. So really bringing those heels as high as you can. Five, and slowly coming down. Seven, eight, two more, nine, and our last one, and 10. Good, okay. So our next one is uh, for our abdominals. So moving the chair out of the way, we are going to have our hands behind our head, feet are wider than shoulder width apart, and we're just twisting to the side, okay? So twisting and breathing out as we come back. So as you twist, think about that core, okay? You're keeping everything here tight. So breathe out, back. That's two. Three. Now, if you want to do this seated, if you're having to sit down, you can do the same thing in your chair. This is five. Breathing out. Six. Concentrate on keeping those abs tight. Seven, really, it's really when you're coming forward that you're really concentrating on those abs. And last one on each side. Okay, feet shoulder width apart. Same thing in the chair as we're doing standing. So pretend there are really heavy water jugs on the floor and we're trying to pick them up. So it's like you're reaching to that water jug and then you're pulling it back up, making those abs work. So reaching and pull. Reach, pull. This is two. Three. Four. Five, six. We've got two more on each side. So you can see my legs aren't really moving. My legs are staying still. So it's just my upper body that's having to, to bend to um, bring those water jugs back up. Last one. Okay. Good, okay, so the next one is also a core workout, but we're also working our lower back. So these are Supermans. So have your chair. Um, if you want to use a wall instead, you can do that. So you can just hold on to the wall. You'll see what I mean when we start. Okay, so opposite hand and opposite leg are working together to work our lower back, okay? So holding onto the chair, what you're doing is you're bringing the, the leg back and the arm up, okay? So I'm bringing that leg back and then I'm bringing them both back down. So let's do one side first and then we'll switch to the other side. So bringing it up. So this is one. Two, now you'll also feel this in your glutes. Three. Four, now let's switch to the other side. One. It's gonna be pretty hard on the leg otherwise for people that are just starting out. Three, very gently. Four, you can see the movement is slow all the time, okay? Other side, this is five on this side. Six. Seven. And eight, let's switch to the other side. Five. Six, seven, and eight. Good, okay. Now we're doing a balance exercise. So having your chair, um, however, just leave it the way it was. We are just uh, lifting one foot off the floor and trying to balance for 10 seconds. Okay, so holding onto the chair, or if you're not using the chair at all, just do the same thing with, without the chair. So uh, lifting one foot up, and you're just gonna let go of the chair or, and have your arms out. And we're in, but if you're using a walker, actually just have your hands close to the walker or the chair, okay? For those who are standing and who want a little bit more of a challenge, you can bring your arms out to the side, but that is definitely more advanced 
because you're not able to grab onto something quickly for, for safety. So if you're using a walker or, or you need the chair for most of the exercises, definitely have your hands close to the chair. The safest way would be to have them like this and to just hover your hands over the chair. Okay, so I'm gonna show the safest way. So lifting one foot off the floor, so you're ready, and we're gonna go. So 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now put that foot down. So you, probably, you may have had to put your hands down at one point to, to grab on, and that's okay. You're just gonna continue to work on that and to challenge that balance a little bit. But main thing here is safety. So definitely have your hands close. Let's switch to the other side. So other foot is up, letting go of the chair, and 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, putting that foot down. Excellent, great, okay. So you can do these, we're just gonna finish off with some stretching. Um, you can do the stretches in the chair if you're tired, just sit down in the chair and you can do the stretches in the same way. For those who are standing, let's bring the arms forward. So just reaching as far forward as you can, really feeling that in your upper back. So press those hands forward. Continuing to press, excellent. Bring your hands together, pull those arms back. Now, if you're very flexible, you can do it this way as well. For most people, this is enough of a stretch, so bring the arms back as far as you can. Pressing the hands to the walls, pushing as if you're pushing on the walls on the side. Feet are shoulder width apart. Grounding your feet into the floor. Bringing one arm in front, crossing that arm in front of the body, pulling that arm in. Feeling that in your shoulders, shoulder. So you should feel that right here. Switching to the other side. So bringing your arm in front, crossing that arm in front, pulling that, that hand in or the arm in. Taking a deep breath in and breathing out. Now let's just rotate those wrists other direction. Let's bring one arm overhead as high as you can to the ceiling. So let's bring our feet a little bit wider apart and let's just lean to one side. So you should feel an amazing stretch down your side here. Okay, other side. So reaching overhead as high as you can to the ceiling and then let's lean. Excellent, bringing that arm down. Let's do some leg stretches, having your chair handy. So we're gonna just grab onto the, the foot around where the shoelaces are, and you're just pulling that leg in. So my legs are close together, okay? I'm not doing this, I'm having my legs close together, and I'm pulling that foot back so I feel a really good stretch in my, in my quad in the front. So pulling, feeling that stretch. If you want to challenge your balance here, you can by letting go, but again, only if it's safe to do so for you. Okay, let's kick that foot forward and we're just gonna sit back. So think of your glutes just going back and you're lifting those toes up. So you're feeling that in, the, in your calf right back here. So this is a pretty intense stretch Again, you don't need to use the chair here if you, if you don't need it. Okay, let's switch to the other side. So we're bringing that foot back, keeping those, the legs fairly close together. And kicking that foot forward, sitting back, feeling that in your calf. Excellent. Now, if you can, you're just gonna have one foot forward, other foot is back, and what you're doing is you're pressing that back heel down. Now you should feel that in the back of this leg in the hamstring. So it's like you're pressing yourself back. So pushing back into that heel. Switching to the other side. 
So bringing that foot back, pushing that heel down and pressing into that back foot. Excellent, coming back out of that. Putting your chair wherever you need it, if you need it or not. Taking a deep breath in and big breath out. Again, two more, deep breath in. And breathing out. Last one. And breathing out. We're just gonna finish with our neck stretches, just dropping the ear down to the shoulder, having your feet shoulder width apart for safety. And let's just bring the ear to the opposite shoulder. Your challenge today is to think of something that you're grateful for. Looking straight ahead, bringing your head back gently, bringing that chin down to the chest. One more time, looking up and back down. Last one is our one more big, big breath in. And breathing out. So think of one thing you're grateful for today. Um, whatever it is, big or small, it just helps with thinking positively, especially during these times nowadays. And uh, I wish you all the best. I will have uh, more classes coming up soon for this series. So stay tuned. I will um, write it in the comments or in the, um, yeah, in the comments just to let you know when that'll be out. All right, take care. Have a great day. Bye for now.